Almost immediately, and um, he'd swallowed the hook down, so I struggled to get it out of him. Uh, so he stopped coming with us. You know, I hate to send him back uh, in a condition that he would not survive in. So, which means I'm down to one more fish to catch tonight. Uh, so I need to really get my shit together for getting hooks out, <laughs> otherwise <laughs> next, next bait could be over. But um, that was pretty cool. That was. Work it, man. We're not even like 400 meters from the car. This is the epic. Look at the dream. Oh, yeah, yeah, the bro's here. Getting a feel for it? Different, but yeah. Yeah, yeah. man, it's Give cool. The, the bites are so succinct, right? Like, yeah, subtle. Yeah, I, I was like, oh, nod, nod, nod. I can't know what that means. But anyway, I'm going to dispatch this dude and then uh, get back on the. So we're just fishing the last of the light now. Uh, it's. Beautiful down here, it's pretty chilly though. Uh, yeah, I've got one, David's got one, so it's been going pretty good actually. Pretty happy with the start on that. Uh, David's first time to the canal, so that's cool that he could get into that. And um, really lightweight fishing is just, it's just awesome. And it was cool that he got to release his one too. Did a slightly better job of getting the hook out of that guy, so. And we're just working over an area now. Everyone else is sort of packed up and gone home. Seen a couple of people we know from uh, Christchurch. They were down here, so that was nice. Had a bit of a yarn, a bit of the old competitive banter. But yeah, so we're just gonna work this area for a little bit longer. And then um, it's probably getting close to the tea time. I, um, I don't have any real meals with me this weekend. I spotted what looked like some sort of Japanese shop in Tekapo that might get a work over tonight. Uh, yeah, looking forward to warm uh, holiday park sort of cabin and, uh, and a nice warm cooked feed, maybe a beer or two as well. So there's definitely some upsides to this uh, fishing caper. But yeah, so it's been a successful two hours this afternoon. Been really enjoyable, so. We're going to go <coughs> give another spot a crack tomorrow morning and try that and see what we can do. Maybe chase some salmon, I think, is probably the game plan for tomorrow. But as places in the world go, I mean, well, it's cold and it can get a bit nasty down here. This is um, about as good as it gets. It's just a wicked spot to fish. It's uh, looking over towards those hills there. I know there's a bit of dock land up those ways. Uh, might even be a tar or two up there. So David's uh, got himself on here. He's, um, he's running my Daiwa, I believe it's the Aculite rod, which has uh, got beautiful action on it, perfect for casting. And he's really giving it just no line. It's not quite a full drag setup, but nice little guy on the bottom there, mate. Cool.
feet. Dry feet? Dry feet. Yes. Dry feet. Well done, mate. <laughs> Cheers, brother. Yeah, so she's uh, full blowing red noses down here at the moment. <laughs> Frosty. It is about negative six, uh, according to the car. Down here, we're at the Ohau A Canal. I normally come here uh, in the morning because there's like real good flow, but uh, it's pretty quiet today. Um, there's been a few vehicles moving in and out. We got out of Tikapo real early this morning, so now it's time for. Plan B? Yeah, yeah. It's not quite rash decision time yet, but yeah, plan B, we're going to go try another spot and see how we get on there. Um, but yeah, it is brisk. Yeah, like stunning, eh? Yeah. I've never seen a frost lock quite like it. Oh, yeah. Getting a little bit of string taken off your mane. Is it challenge with the skull dragon? Yeah. Yeah, look, it's not a. It's not 20 pound line, mate. And they're not um, big hooks in car wise mouths either. Keep moving a little bit with it. Get when that line back. Beautiful fish, mate. Nice work. So yeah, we're upon our return to um, the downstream end of the Tikapo Canal. We both had a bit of success this morning. Dave just picked up a nice, uh, nice rainbow. Yeah. I probably picked up a bigger one. Uh, <laughs> nice. Arguable. Yeah, Arguable. yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I, was, I was able to release mine, so that was nice. Yeah. Um, so yeah, so we we're back. We won one on the board or in the bag at the moment. It's actually just really nice fishing here. Um, they're not massive fish, eh, mate? No. But, no. But um. Good yeah. fight on them, though. Oh yeah, and this lightweight gear, you know, like yeah. six pound line with a, you know, like a six pound leader as well and, and to be fair some fairly dubious knots <laughs> tied with very cold fingers this morning yeah um, frosty fingers doesn't help yeah keeping the drags low and just letting it work in the fish a little bit and it's um, been paying off so the secret bait is um, killing it mate yeah best best stop of the trip eh 100% worthwhile I, th I think it's fair to say over the years of fishing I've learned get the bait get the fish there and there, I mean, generally that's been live baits, but here we did the work and got the bait and we're getting the fish. Yeah. And it's just, I'm not one to gloat, but boy oh boy, I'm enjoying catching fish in front of people who aren't catching fish. It's a real fisherman's thing, eh? Like, it is. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, um, yeah, we're just going to tick along. We've got a couple of hours left on our license now, so I think we're just going to work this area some more, getting a nice little walk in and then, um, yeah, wrap this one up, but yeah. just choice. It's so nice here, so much warmer than it was down um, towards LA, mate. Like, that 10 degrees makes all the difference. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I mean, I mean, we're only talking three or four degrees here, and it's like being in the tropics compared to down there. It's just outrageous, yeah. but yeah, back into a little bit more fishing, and hopefully, uh, hopefully, we can deliver some, um, some of that big bait, big fish mentality, eh? Yeah. Yeah, big, mildly aggressive trout. <laughs> it's the goal.
So uh, in amongst the confusion of all that, um, yeah, go on. I'm calling it a long range release. Yeah, <laughs> I, I seen you touch the fish to be honest. Though. That was pretty good, and it was a good fish. Like it was two and a half. Yeah, I think three so. Three kilos, sort of rainbow, really Beautiful good condition. condition. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it was. Um, it was a nice fish. I got down to get a photo of it. And old mate here. Yeah. Just too quick on the draw, I think. Never mind. Never mind. It's fishing. It was landed. He had he had the line and the line snapped. Uh, old mate swam on. So that was that was a cool fish, right? That was a really nice fish. It was a good fight. It was fun. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so. Uh, nice to release him anyway, though. Let yeah. someone else catch him another day. Yeah. Yeah. He's got a bit of jewelry now. <laughs> yeah. A little lip piercing. Yeah. So. Um, yeah, just, oh yeah, I sort of feel like I'm talking about it too much now, but it's like been really just a cracking day's fishing. We've got about an hour and a half left, mm. and we've come quite a long way now. Yeah. But um, it's worth seeing. Yeah, we're probably going to push on a little bit further down this way, mm. get to the bridge perhaps, Yeah. and see how we're going for time. I feel like we'll just keep walking until 3.30, yeah. and then and spend an hour back. walking back. But yeah, choice um, choice spot and just amazing scenery. Yeah, and just like fishing. Yeah, I think, stunning. Um, from my point of view, I reckon I'm gonna start back up here again and do this run again because I had, you know, we had good bites the whole way along. Yeah, yeah. I had a, I had a couple of good bites. Uh, went for a raging hook set and dropped it, and then immediately. Dave got on, so I think we'll probably start back up here a bit. Yeah, I think so. But yeah. What a, mate, what a day. So much so nice to hear them twizzle. Yeah. I'll keep going if I was you. Put a little bit of heat on them. Sitting in that current, unevaded, right? Nice. Nice save, mate. That was elegant. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. Try and get him turned around, mate. The, absolutely the fish of the day for us. Nice one. So that's um, that's the end of our uh, license time. Uh, it finished up on what was truly an excellent fish, mate. Yeah, fish of the day. Right, yeah, fish, fish of the weekend. Of the season. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> um, which probably in that four to five kilo mark at an estimate. Yeah. Um, yeah, what a wicked fish. And just like, it took you for a good 250 metres down the... Yeah. Down the canal, so that's good fight. Cool. Yeah. Stunning colours too. Beautiful. Yeah. Mate, oh, that was awesome. Just awesome. How was that Aculite rod, mate? It's something else. Yeah, 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 yeah. My next rod purchase may be one. Indeed. Yeah. Yeah, the guy I bought that off told me that was the rod to have. So stunning rod. Awesome. But yeah. Um cheers for coming out, bro. Cheers for coming Thanks down for and me. hanging out. It's been a fairly relaxing weekend to be honest with yeah. I just checked, we've only done about 7Ks today, so. and Cruising. it's been nice and flat, so I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, and we've got a couple of fish to take home as well, so yeah, awesome stuff. So thanks for joining us, uh, everyone. It's been a pretty cool uh, change of scenery, and just to get down and go for a fish as well, like it's uh, 
push and always play uh, be really important to me. I really enjoy it. Uh, but I am looking forward to getting out for a hunt next weekend. I did a bit of work on sorting out some new arrows and stuff this weekend, uh, this last week, and uh, after my last debacle. So it's going to be a lot of practice this week and getting that sorted. Uh, usual story, folks. If you like what you're seeing, smash a couple of buttons, you know. And uh, I appreciate everyone for uh, watching and uh, and your encouraging words too in the comments. Oh, yeah. I'm, re I'm really enjoying this, so you know, it's good to catch up with everyone. I keep saying that every week, but it's the truth. It's the truth. It really is. What we're doing uh, is we've got a, we've got a few of these t-shirts uh, rolled out now. We've been working on trying to get the right ones. So I think uh, you know, for we're going to pick someone out of the comments who uh, who's you know who's commenting on the YouTube, and we're, we're going to fire someone a t-shirt. You know, uh, so get in there, make a comment, and um, and yeah. And we'll look forward to seeing you and speaking to everyone soon. Go, cool. Cheers.